What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys a brand new playthrough for the channel on Super Mario 3D World for the Nintendo Switch. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm excited for this one considering I played this game originally on the Wii U and had a blast with it. I 100%ed it. There's so much content with it, so many levels, all that good stuff with this game. So I'm very glad that they brought this one over to the Switch. But let's try to get this playthrough off started strong. You guys already know the deal. Buy smash that like button. And if you are not subscribed to the channel already, make sure you click that big red subscribe button so you stay up to date with all things Jeans. You guys already know to deal with that one but for this playthrough like i said i'm gonna be 100 in this game i am gonna be 100 in this game getting all the green stars all the stamps so we can unlock the final world and show that off as well but this game also includes bowser's fury which i'll be doing a playthrough on i'll probably do them simultaneously while this game's going on and we'll be rolling from there but let's get started with this playthrough oh i can join you i miss this game so much i really did miss this game so much we're gonna get started with mario we're gonna get originally started with mario i think that's that's just how it should be cannot start a mario game with somebody else but yeah i originally 100 percent this game there's so much content to do there's three green stars per level a stamp and then you can eventually go back and beat each level with every single character in order to fully 100 percent it but i think for this playthrough we're just gonna get all the stamps the green stars so we can unlock that final world and show that off but yeah back to what i was saying about bowser's fury because i kind of want to go over that too we're going to be doing this game and bowser's fury at the same time so we can get all that mario content in for you guys i cannot wait to play this game and bowser's fury as well this game was just an absolute blast some nice relaxing game to actually get off here and uh show off for you guys but look at us we got them clear pipes we got all this stuff i remember when this game was originally released like i grinded it i grinded it so much we got the fairies or what are these little uh i forget what these are, are these fairies i think they're fairies right yeah, we got little fairies. These guys are new. Bowser stole them all in jars and all that good stuff. I'm gonna just skip this. Say, hey, yo, let's get after this game and get into the first level. Because my plan is for today's video is to record like 30, 40 minutes. Probably do half of World 1. I think that's fair. I think that's fair. And try to collect all those green stars and all that stuff. But yo, we jamming out here. Yo, this game's got some nice music. How's the controls go again? Okay, so we have that. I can hit A. Yeah, there's my long jump. Oh, the graphics look so much better, too. They look awesome. And we gave ourselves a nice little cat belt. Oh, yes. One of the best power-ups. Oh, yes, sir. We grinding here. Where are these green stars at, though? That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for all the green stars. So we get another cat belt here. Oh, and I get it in my extra thing. I just hit up on the D-pad to get that. And there's our first green star. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it. I remember this game like it was yesterday. Like, like I said, 100 percent of it. So I know a lot about this game. So much fun, man. It's just a blast. Especially you can play uh, with uh, multiple people. And there's like a crown. Oh, I always like doing this. <laughs> and there's like a crown you can play for, which is pretty cool. So whoever gets the most points gets a crown. But I'm going to dive over here. Yo, look at that. Yo, cat suit. It rocks, man. It rocks. Can I climb up this wall? I can, yo. Let's get it. Come here, rabbit. Come here, boy. Yo, we got to get these rabbits. Come here, man. Yo, down while you get a nice little speed boost. We'll take you out. Come here, rabbit. What do you want, fool? Coming for you. Does he have a green star? Oh, he has a mushroom. Where do I use this mushroom for? Right here? I think I use it right here, right? I forget where I use it. I need to find this other uh, green star. I know there's one at the bottom over here. And I think there's one back there. I'm just going to use this to destroy a lot of these bricks. <laughs> just tear things up. Get a bunch of points, too. Oh, yes, sir. Yo, I love this game. World 1 so much fun. It's a nice little introduction for everything. Oh, uh, where's my cat suit? I want my cat suit back. So we're just going to send this one out. We're going to go down this pipe. Because I believe second green star's here. No, the stamp's here. Nice, lovely first stamp. And the cool part about the stamps is every time you collect one, it goes into your little stamp booklet. So at the end, when you collect them all, you have all your little stamps. It's just like a nice, cool little collectible. Right, let's head over here. Uh, where's the green star? There you are. I knew a rabbit had this. Come here, boy. Come here. I'm a cat. Good. I just pieced him up. Give me that green star. Second green star here. And now we can get moving and find that third one. I know we can go down here. Yes, sir. One up, baby. Keep grinding this way. And there should be like a secret pad. Right here. Is this it? Should be right here. I cannot do anything. Actually, I can do this. No. There we go. There we go. Get down there just like that. And get ourselves our third and final green star for level one. Which we have now just 100 percent of basically. Oh, you do have to get top of the flagpole for every single one, I believe. I believe that's a thing. To get top of the flagpole for every single uh world. So with the cat suit, it makes it super easy because you can just go at the bottom of the pole, hold down Y and climb straight up the pole and get top of the flagpole. So that is what you have to do to 100%. You have to get top of the flagpole for everything, all three green stars per place, every single stamp per place. And then if you really want to be that overachiever, you can beat every single level with every single character. So you have to beat the level five times. It's crazy. It's crazy. I did it on the Wii U. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. But there we go. Give me them three green stars. And I forgot about the soundtrack too jams baby jams all day 
Keep grooving along here. Head over to world two or now level two. The Koopa Troopa Cave. I think today we'll uh we'll roll out with Mario all day and then I'll I'll swing back and be somebody else in the uh, next video. We slap up on him. Let me see if they still have this. They still have the hidden Luigi? Yeah. If you guys look at the bottom right corner right now, there's a hidden Luigi just dancing. Nice little 8-bit Luigi right in the bottom right corner. That's so cool. That is so cool. They they actually have a lot of them in this game. So if I miss some, let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to know. And let me know for a uh, question of the day. Will you guys be picking up uh, Super Mario 3D World and Bowser's Spirit? Oh, I just really took a wolf in here, but it's okay. We're getting a fire punch. Hey, yo, chill on me. Chill on me, green shell. <laughs> and over here, uh, let's go here. Let me start beating this guy. This little fire fire. What's this way? Oh, yes, sir. And I could just do this. Kick that thing. Have that thing bounce around. Give me some coins and stuff and things. I could just do this. Uh, I just want to send it. This will get me everything. You know what? I'm out of here. <laughs> I keep hitting the, uh, the, what's it called? I keep hitting the Koopa Troopa uh, shell with my fireball. It's just messing me up. Actually, I want to go through this pipe. Get out of here, boy. What's it giving me? Nothing? Is he absolutely nothing? No, I'm looking for all these green, or these, uh, the green stars. Go this way and through this cat. Hopefully I didn't miss one. I don't think I missed one. Is there one over here? There is one. Is this the first one? I really hope it is. Come here, give me that thing. No, I want it. Got it. Is that that is the first one? Okay, cool. First one down. Can I get up there? I missed my jump. Okay, we do not really need that timer. No big deal. And we get a checkpoint for that. Nice. Is there anything here? There is. There is. I saw both those uh those little torches. I was like, there's gotta be something in here. My Mario instincts kicked in here. Okay, so we go over here, and we have these little boxes. So if you guys do see these boxes, you definitely want to go in there. There's usually like a stamp or a green star thing in here. Yeah, we got 10 seconds. Oh, are you kidding me? Am I not going to get it now? i hop on all these guys. Come here. There we go. Kill them both in the time limit. You get yourself a nice little green star. And I took some mean damage. I'm just going to pop out this and get myself another fire flower. Keep grooving along here. I believe if you have a cat suit, you can actually climb up to the top there. That's pretty cool. Is that where the stamp is at? I believe you can climb up here. Can I go like this? Can I do like a side jump? I cannot. Can I jump off one of you guys? Come on, third time's charm? No, I did not get up there. I think there's a way up there. I really do think there's a way up there, and there's something up there. I'm not too sure what it is. The stamp? I'm gonna have to go back and get that then. I want them coins though. You know I want them coins for those uh, one-ups. But if you guys do want infinite one-ups, you can actually do it in this level right here. Yeah, I should be able to get up here, right? Can I get up here? I can. Okay, cool. Instead of going through that pipe, we're going to get up here. Oh, dang. Hit another one. But I will teach you guys how to get infinite one-ups in just a little bit when I get the chance. Can I actually do it here or did I miss it? Oh, here's the stamp. Let's get it. Now we need one more green star. If you want unlimited... I think we can do it right here. If you want unlimited uh, one-ups, you have to go here, grab a shell, and kind of like bounce it here. And like throw it there and like get on a bounce train. Like that. Perfect. I just did it perfectly. Look at that. Look at that, unlimited one-ups. <laughs> That's really cool. If you guys want unlimited one-ups, you just do that. We'll just get a couple. I just want to show that off for you guys real quick. And show that it is possible. So I did that first try. That was pretty dope. That was pretty dope. Got all the green stars, got the stamp, and we're ready to roll. But I have to get top of the flag. So I have to hit a nice long jump here. Hopefully you hit the top of the flag. Should just be able to go here. And just do this. Get it. Let's go. Let's go. Top of the flagpole, baby. Give me that. So you know you get top of the flagpole when you get uh, 100,000 points and the flagpole will turn gold. So when I'm at this uh, in the hub world, I should be able to see what I completed and all that good stuff. Get another stamp added to our collection. Dude, there are so many levels in this game. I absolutely love it. There's just so much content, so much gameplay for it. Just an absolute blast. But there we go. Two levels down. Uh, how many do I want to do? I don't know how many I want to do. Oh, we got a charging chuck low level. Oh, yeah. But I should be able to go in here, and there should be a button to hit the map. Yeah, if I go to the map, I can actually... I oh, know that just shows all that. Oh, yeah, I can do this. I can go to my progress here, and this shows everything that I did. So, in World 1, 1-1 one, one, and 1-2, I got all the green stars. I got top of the flagpole. That's with the gold thing. And I have the stamp. And we actually have not unlocked the... Uh, the what's it called yet? The sections where it tells you uh, to defeat the course with every character. So, so far, we 100 percent everything that we can. We're going to head over here. Uh, actually, I actually want to go over here. Go to the Toad House so I can show that off. I believe we just get an item. I want a cat suit. As you guys already know, cat suit's the best. Welcome to Toad House. Pick a box. Okay, which box do I want? Do we want the small one or the big one? Obviously, I want the big one. But I feel like they're trying to trick me, so I'm going to go for a small one. And do that. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm so good at this game. I'm the best. 
I'm gonna get I'm gonna go pick up the scout suit and we'll put a fire flower away. Let's go. So it's basically just a 50 50 chance. Sometimes they throw all the goodies in the big box, sometimes they throw them in the small box. We got the good one. We made the right call. And if you did finish all green stars, you guys can see on the top of the flag poles outside the level, you got yourself the green star chilling on top of the flag pole, and if it's gold, it means you got top of the flag pole. But there's no way to tell stamps unless you go into the map and actually check your pro. But we're rolling out here, world 1-A, this is a little little side level, you get yourself a nice little green star here, just gotta actually defeat the enemies, they're not too hard, especially with the cats, you can kinda just mash A, and you get things done very, very quickly, grab the green star, and you're done. Beautiful. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah. But, I don't, did I go over everything that I wanted to? I'm trying to think. With this game and Bowser's Fury, I think I'm going to be doing double uploads and uploading them on the same day. So we'll get two videos of uh, one with uh, 3D World and one with Bowser's Fury until we finish up Bowser's Fury because it's obviously going to be a little bit shorter than this game because it's, it's just a little add-on, I believe. I believe it's not that long. So we're going to be... Well, I'm going to at least attempt to be double uploaded. And then so uh, Pokemon Sword Shield content will always be around. So we'll be uploading uh, online rank battles for that as well. But Mount Beanpole, I remember this level, man. There should be a green star or a stamp or something up in one of these trees, man. Where's that? Oh, look, yo, the pixie shows us everything. I should be able to come over here. Yeah, there is something up here. Give me my cat suit. Give me my cat suit. I absolutely love the cat suit. There we go. Get this one. First green star is down. And we got cat goompas. Get out of my face, cat goompas. <laughs> Yay. Dang, nice little power block there. Another cat suit. I'd rather replace the fire flower with cat suit. Cat suit is just so much better. You can climb up walls. You can do just a lot more with it. You can just claw your way to everything. You should be able to hit this and bounce on that one too, right? Pink. There we go. Break that open. And get yourself a lovely little pipe. Let me get in there. Let me get in there. Let me get in there, baby. We're going to slide in here and what we got? We got another green star thing. Alright, so once I hit this little P switch, I think we're on a timer to do stuff. Yeah, let's get it. Gotta show off my speed running skills. Oh, yes, sir. Give me all of them. Give me all of them. Give me all these. I'm gonna go back this way. Come on, give me more. There we go. Bang, pretty simple. We dive straight over there. I love the dive mechanic. How you can dive just by jumping and holding Y. It's so cool. It really is. Oh, and something else I didn't go over is, uh, is what's it called? Every single character has their uh, ability. It's cool, or something special about them. So if you beat Toad, Toad is actually faster than everybody else. If you beat Mario, I think Mario is just average in a, all around. Luigi has a higher jump than everybody. Peach can float. And then, what's the last one? Rosalina, which eventually you unlock. She gets like a nice little spin jump, which is pretty cool. So I dig it. I dig it. So yeah, we're going to be showing off Mario today. And then in the next episode, actually, let me know in the comment section down below who you guys would like to see next. Whether it be uh, Luigi, we can't be Rosalina. So whether it be Luigi, Toad, or Peach. Or if you guys want me to stick with Mario, I don't mind sticking my boy Mario. He's cool. He gets work done. Uh, so there should be a tree here. Yeah, I'm talking about this tree. Anything on top of here? We go this way, and this is the way we need to go. And what does this do? This spins this tower. And, oh, I guess I gotta climb it. Can I climb it? I can, okay, cool. I can climb it, and I come over here, and we get this little cloud thing. The cloud can shoot you up in the sky, and you got another, like, mini thing. Oh, this is so sick. I believe this should be, like, an invincibility star here? Yeah. Give me this thing. Yes, sir. Let's get after it. You gotta kind of run in a straight line. Timer jumps pretty well. And it's pretty simple. You get it. I think uh, the third green star should be. Yes, sir. Give me that. And then we just hop back in the ground and get back to the main level. But 3D World is just amazing. They should they should have made a new one. They really should have made a new one. But this game is just fantastic. <gasps> Oh my lord, that was a close one. <laughs> that was so close. That would have been dope if they did make a new one. But again, this game didn't get that much loving in the uh, in the Wii U version. So only right to port it over here. This game is actually really phenomenal. It's really good. They actually need the cat suit to get top of the flagpole in this one. Luckily we have it. Climb top, bang, top of the flagpole, and we finish off that level. We might actually be able to finish up the whole world one. We might be able to do that. Which I'll shoot for, because we haven't been recording for too too long. I'll shoot for whole world one. If we can grind it out, I'm totally with it. I'm totally with it. Let's do it. We'll see. We'll see. There's actually a couple more levels. But we're pretty close. We are pretty close here. Dun, 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 dun. I know actually this other level right up here, we're going to have to uh, go twice. We try connecting with playing with friends. Anybody want to play with me? Anybody want to play with jeans? <laughs> actually, yeah, we will definitely finish up this world. We have two more levels, a cat and toe thing, and then the final one. Oh, we getting after it. We get after it. But I know not this one, the one that I just uh the one up top. There's uh 
We're gonna have to do it twice in order to get everything. You guys will see see about that in a little bit. But in order to do things here, we gotta get ourselves all those little blue buttons and unlock ourselves the next path. But what's so cool about this game is it's just the level design. Like every single level is different. There's not just like a theme to a, to a world. Well, there is. Like this one's like green grass and all that. And the next one's sand. But the, the levels are different. Like we're in a circus level, and it's so cool to have everything different. I really do enjoy it, and it makes this game feel brand new and uh, real fresh. Well, get out of here. Get out of here, boys. Let's go up here. I believe there should be something up here. I can't believe I remember all this. Still. Like when this game came out, 2013. Oh my lord, I remember when it came out, I absolutely just played it for hours. For hours with my brother and my friends. It feels like yesterday, it really does. And I was so much younger, like 2013? I'm trying to think, 2013, man. How old was I? I was 13, 14? Jeez, man. I'm getting old. I'm 21 now, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm an old guy. I'm an old geezer. Old geezer, but still loving his Nintendo games. I can never get enough of these uh, but let's roll over here, hop up here. This this was definitely a top tier game for Wii U. I'm trying to think, what are the other top tier games for Wii U? Hmm. Oh, where's the other ones at? Are they up here? Where are the other uh, red coins? I guess I missed them. Red coins don't really matter. But top tier games for Wii U. Wind Waker, Legends of Zelda, The Wind Waker, phenomenal. One of my favorite games on there. This game for sure. Uh, I'm trying to think what else is up there. I, I, would, I would give Pikmin 3. Uh, oh wait, we gotta find this thing. Let's get it. Where is this thing? Oh, there's Spoon. Sorry. There we go. I would put Pikmin 3 up there because when it first came out, it was really, really fun. Uh, what other games did I really, really enjoy? Smash Bros. 4 when that came out. Oh, my cat suit back. Cat suit's so much better. Uh, what other great Wii U games? Sonic Boom? No, I'm just playing. <laughs> that game was absolutely terrible. It was so bad. It really was. It was, it was a waste of my money. I should never bought it. I bought it with high hopes for it. I was like, yeah, yo, this game, everyone's not giving it a chance. Yeah, it was awful. It was god awful. I think I put like three hours into it and just beat it in that time. And then was done with it. <laughs> but no, there was definitely other games I was totally forgetting about. I don't know why. But right now, I ain't time that right. We're missing a stamp. And the stamp's up there. Okay, I see the stamp. All right. Anything over here? I'm totally missing out on Wii U games. I have them all like right next to me too. If I really want to bring them out <laughs> and look at it, but we're not gonna do that. I think I need Katsu to get this right. We're not gonna just wall jump like that. We should just be able to do that and get top of the flagpole. Beautiful, beautiful. So that was one five. We actually skipped one four. We went in a different order, but it doesn't really matter. You can go in any order, do it whatever. It's not like there's a story. It's kind of just grind out with your friends, play alone, and have some fun. And that's what that's what I really like about the 2D side scroll Mario games or games like this. Like they should make another one of these, or but it probably won't be until like the next console, which stinks. But so we can have we can have a blast with this one. But yeah, we're definitely gonna be crushing World One today. We're gonna be finishing this. One. And where's my slot machine? You do get a slot machine in this game. Which is awesome. We'll head over here to uh, it's Plessy's Plunging Falls. Yo, my dude Plessy! I absolutely love this little character. Little Plessy, you get the ride on back. Sometimes the, the controls are whack, but look at my boy Plessy, what's good? Sometimes the controls are whack, but you can deal with it. Hop on Plessy, head for the goal. Uh, control your speed by tilting up or down on the left stick. Okay, that's fine. Press B to jump. Okay, when playing with friends, ba 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 ba. I'm not playing with no friends. Oh, good. Oh, yeah, let's get it. We can dash by uh, holding forward. And yo, look at the gravity. The graphics are so nice for this game. The water looks gorgeous. Water really does not gorgeous. Jump here, yeet on them, and there's, here's our first green star. Can we get it? We do. All right, so we get that. I kind of want to head over here. There's just something through there. I'm trying to think. Is there something through? I, I know we're gonna have to do this level twice. We are gonna have to do this level twice. I'm gonna hop up here. We have to jump on these heads. Is that a green star or stamp? I see something up there. Yo, know, the water looks amazing. It really does. Oh, are you kidding me? Come here. Oh, it's not. It's just a one up. I thought you could just run into those guys and pop up, but you have to jump on them. Yo, Plessy, my dude. Uh, I believe you can go through the waterfall. That's a thing, right? That's a thing, right? Yeah, yeah. There's a, we are going to miss the stamp. We cannot get the stamp. That's going to be a problem. The stamp's over on the right side, so that's why we have to do uh, two runs. So we'll get the stamp next run. And we're heading down this thing with our uh, Plessy with invincibility frames. And there's the last green star. Hopefully, I can get to hit this hop perfectly and get it. Come on, get it, get it, get it. Let's go. Let's go. Perfect hop. And we kind of do a perfect first run. 
But we gotta go back. My boy Plessy. Awesome. We'll see you later. I think he's in like one level for every world. Or he, he pops up every here and there, and they're fun levels. They're really cool. We can get top of the flagpole here, no problem. We only have to do take the take the top path. We can just do this, climb the pole like a cat, and just grab the top. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So three green stars there. Just need to go back and get the stamp. So instead of going through the waterfall, next route, we're just gonna go around the side and get that. I remember struggling with it, but I don't know if it was because I was younger or I just had problems with the controls. I don't know what it was, but hopefully we can get this one first try. We're buzzing here. We are buzzing here. I'm glad I still remember all these things. I really am. And the only reason I do remember all of them, oh, we unlock slots. I love slots. <laughs> we'll, we'll play them in a bit. But the only reason I remember everything is like I said, 100%ed it and replayed the level with like all five characters multiple times. I just kept doing it and doing it. So it's kind of just like in my brain, especially at least for world one. I think when we get to the later worlds, I'm going to forget a lot of it. But if I do remember, I do have a good memory. That is just something I was, uh, I guess, born with. I have a great memory. I really do. I always have. I'm going to get as many coins as we can now. Get this little speed boost. Yeah. Give me that. And we'll try to take this top hat, see if my controls are on point. And try to get these red coins. Hop up on there. Let's get it. Get it, Plessy. Get a nice little turn. Oh, look at that. Your boy's buzzing. Your boy's buzzing. Give me them all. Give me them all. We'll take the other pass, too, that I haven't shown off. But the water just looks amazing. It really does. Like, I cannot wait for another Odyssey. Like, just looking at this water, it makes me want another Odyssey. Go to Seaside Kingdom. They should have added a DLC for Odyssey, but I'm hoping, hopefully they'll work on uh, Odyssey 2 or Galaxy 3. Something along those lines. Or Sunshine 2 would be cool. So here's a stamp right over here. Should actually slow down. Try to hit this turn nicely. There we go. Your boy got it. Your boy's thriving. Yeah, it wasn't that hard. It wasn't as hard as I remember. I guess a uh, 13-year-old me would be proud of myself today. <laughs> right? It's crazy. Because the Wii U was really my first big console. I mean, I had an... Well, my family, me and my brother, we shared an Xbox uh, 360, all that good stuff. I played PlayStation when I was younger. I had PlayStation. But, like, my very own, like, first console, besides a DS, I had a DS. Well, everybody had it was a Wii U. I decided that I wanted a Wii U and get into, like, Mario games. Because I originally, like, played a DS when I was younger. And then, uh, I kind of grown out of it. I was just like, ah, I don't really like these games anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to like the shooters and all that. Like, Call of Duty on the Xbox. And then, like, after, like, a couple years, like, three, four years, I was like, yo. And I saw, like, content on, like, Mario games. I was like, I want another DS. I want a Wii U. I want to get back into it. And I just absolutely fell in love with it. And been loving Nintendo ever since. Because that was really my thing. Got the Wii U, got Wind Waker, and, uh, what's it called? I got Wind Waker and, uh, 3D World, and just grind it out. We're gonna head to this little Captain Toad level. Get, getting after it with this. Captain Toad. But it's not like I haven't played Mario games before. Like, I played Wii U. I mean, not Wii U. I played the original Wii, all that good stuff. GameCube. But it was just the Wii U brought me back into everything. The Wii U is what solidified. But Captain Toad Fearless... Fearless Hunter of Green Stars is ready for an adventure. So these little things, I think they have maybe one in every single world. But you, what's it called? You kind of just, uh, it's kind of puzzle. It's like a puzzle. Like if you guys ever played the Captain Toad games, they're puzzles. They are puzzles, so that's exactly what it is. We just have to find all five Green Stars, and that's how we finish up the level. And this one. Well, and this one's pretty simple. It's like, it's like a, it's an easy one. Okay, let's go here. I can change the camera angle. And I did have Captain Toad for the, uh, the Wii U. That game was fun as well. With all the puzzle levels. I know I'm forgetting some really good. Let me know in the comment section down below what other top tier Wii U games am I forgetting about. <laughs> but I know there's some absolute bangers on the Wii U. I did play uh, Paper Mario Color Smash. That game was a lot of fun. I really, I, I did like that one better than this, uh, than, uh, the Nintendo Switch Paper Mario. Let's roll here. And then get ourselves the final, final green star for ourselves. So banging. We can head to the final level and defeat the boss. <laughs> Yo, I did a pretty good toe impression there. Did a really good one. And it stinks that the Wii U did not have Pokemon, but I'm so glad that they brought it over to the main console. Brought it over some Pokemon. They did have Twilight Princess. Twilight Princess was really good. I can go there, but I won before I actually go there. I want to prance around here in my cat suit. And go over to slot, show that off for you guys. Especially because it's the first video. Try to show off as much as I can. And go over here into some slots. Let's see if I can get it. Alright, so I know a little trick here. If you stand in between both of these, you can actually hit the same one. If, if you do it perfectly. It's kind of tough to do. Sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't. I did not get it, so we're looking for cherries. Ah, boomerang, come on. Cherries or boomerang? 
Boomerang. Alright, let's get a boomerang here. Let's go. Let's go. Big old boomerang. 300 coins. You can see some hidden Luigi's here. If you guys look in the coins, sometimes you'll see one. See if I can see one. Yep, bottom left corner. It came out. If you guys slow it down, it floated from the top, diagonal left, and it came out. So yeah, a lot of hidden Luigi's in this game. Sometimes you see them in uh, mystery blocks, which is pretty cool. So if you guys, like I said, if you guys see one and I, I don't, I miss it, let me know in the comment section down below. But there we go. Only need 10 green stars to actually unlock this final level here, and we're going to get after it. We're getting after it. But the cool part about playing Mario games, other than like competitive Pokemon, for me at least, is I get to talk and actually like explain stories and like just talk to you guys, hang out, which is dope. Then when I'm playing Pokemon, it's just like I'm focused on the game. I'm kind of talking about explaining the game. But I do enjoy coming here and, and just talking to you guys, telling you guys stories about my life. It's a lot of fun. Oh, we got these uh green star coins. We gotta get all these. Are you chilling me? Is that all of them? There we go. So that's another way to get green stars is when you see the green star coins. You gotta pick them all up in a certain amount of time. They're kind of like red coins. They're just green coins. You just gotta collect them in a certain amount of time. Go over here. Raise this level. I don't remember. There should be a... I think there's a huge, like, hidden Mario or something like that in this, uh, in this level. I'm gonna see if I can see it later. If I remember correctly, I forget. This water just made me remember it. It's pretty dope. I'll head this way. Yo, what's good? Goomba Tower? We've got Thwomps back. I like how the graphics are updated. They look really good. This used to do. We got two green stars. I'm looking for a stamp. There's a third green star. I wish I had a stamp at. I got the find. Did I snipe those Goofas over there? I did. Give me that. I'll take that from you. Hey, come here, boy. Give me that. And the controls are very smooth. But where's it? Actually, hold on. I think the stamp might be back here. Yo, you run super fast. Which I love. You cook. You should be able to do this. Get a nice big hop. But if I come back here, is it in here? Can I kick it at this wall? Yeah. Yeah. Good thing I remember. Because the, the, good, the good part about this is, if you say you miss a green star, which eventually the green stars get a lot harder. But if you miss a green star, you'll start, uh, what's it called? You'll see, like, say I get a one and I get three, then there'll be a missing hole in, uh, in the, what's it called? There'll be a missing hole in the second green star slot, which is behind my face cam, but you guys can see, like, the tip of it, which is pretty nice. But the stamps, you don't know where they're at in the map. Guys. Just got, got to kind of look. We're coming up with our first boss fight. Going up against Bowser. The final boss fight in this game is really good as well. We're going up against my main man, Bowser. What's goody, dog? How you doing? Hey, yo, chill on me, man. He's in, a, he's in his little car. Which is this boss fight's all right. It's pretty straightforward. He's going to throw these little bombs. All you got to do is smack him back at him. Man, do some damage. Do a little dance. We can do a spin jump. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do little claws in the air. But yeah, this first world is basically just showing you all the mechanics of the game. Kind of making you get used to it. If he shoots red ones, don't hit him. They'll blow you up. And he's going to throw a lot of pit balls, too. Smack that at him. Get him out of my face. And I think I'll pick up the pace on the car, too. The car's destroyed, yo. Right tire's gone. Front left tire's gone. Shooting some fire. Just dope. Okay. Nah, I cannot get that ball. Throw me one. Thank you. Yo and that should be GG. That should be GG. There you go. World 1 complete all in one video, which is awesome. I cannot promise you guys that it's going to be a world per video because sometimes it's harder. The levels get longer, and I am going to start forgetting where the green stars are. But we were able to absolutely crush this one, defeat World 1 in one go, which is dope. I thought I was going to come here and split this one into two parts. But, you know, your boy clutched it up. We got all the stamps. We got all the green stars that we can get so far. And we can head over here, and I believe there is a hidden... It might not be this world. Let's see. It might be here. There's our first fairy we gotta save. I'm gonna see if I can actually see this. It should be up here. Do you actually get on top of here? I believe you can overlook this, uh, this land. And if you wait here for a little bit, we're gonna see. We're gonna see. It might not be this world. It might be in another world. But I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give it a couple seconds. See if we can see it. But it should just be like a giant hidden Luigi or Mario just walking across the water. It's pretty cool. I'm hoping we can see it. Come on, show it to me. Show it to me. It's got to be in a different one then. I'll give it another 10 seconds. See what's going on. See what Mario's going to do too. Mario just sits there. Look at him with his cat suit. Yeah, I believe it's another roll. Let's just hit the top of the flagpole. Give me that. Bang. Top of the flagpole. Perfect. Awesome. 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 Top of the flagpole for everything. All stamps. All green stars. We were buzzing. And we saved our first fairy. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Man. Give me that. Give me that. Score's going up. 
Got all the stamps. Got a cool Bowser stamp. Only five levels. Five levels, a charging chuck, and a Captain Toad. So awesome. So now we save the princess and we unlock a clear pipe to the next world. Sir. And I love how they, they, they put little little fairies in this. Instead of just being typical, like, oh, you gotta defeat the Koopa Links and then you gotta save Peach, they threw the fairies in here that we gotta save. And you can actually use Peach. So a nice little add to the storyline as well. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Before we actually head off into World 2, I actually do want to check the map. I want to go check the course list. Everything is done. Awesome. And there's our stamp collection, which is kind of dope. And now we can come over here and go inside this pipe and show you guys off World 2 before we actually get into it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sand level, baby. And we got Sand Castle. We see the ice one over there. I think that's World 3. It might be 4, but I believe it's World 3, as we can see it. We got Circus over there, which we will be showing off in the next video. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. As the next episode, we're going to be taking on World 2, either getting started with it or maybe even completing it. I really do not know yet. But, seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you guys spread some positivity today. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.